Welcome back. We are in the blend kitchen to start your week off with a delicious recipe idea from Armani. That is right. Chef Robert Maggi joins us today. How you doing, Robert? Good, good. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you Very for good. a Monday? Good. 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 Yeah. We got your work in this morning oh, for yeah, us. Definitely. <laughs> hey, we're learning a lot from you. Natalie and I both don't know a whole lot about a veal, but this mm -hmm. is a new signature dish that this you guys is, are yep. doing. This is our uh, veal uh, melanese. We do it just pan breaded. We take our leftover croutons from the night before. We mm -hmm. grind them up and uh, bread it. Um, we do on top of that a deconstructed mushroom ravioli, Ooh. which is really nice, and a truffle um, reduction. We add a little oyster mushrooms to it and then a nice little mix of mushrooms, uh, but it comes out really nice and crispy. And then you got that nice mix of the truffle and the pasta where it's not too heavy. Now you always really nice. see on menus where people have signature dishes and when it was time to, to pick out a new one for you guys, what were you guys looking for? What was the goal? How did just, you decide uh, on this one? Uh, it just kind of came about of talking back and forth between me and the manager. Um, we kind of just went and we were figuring out the menu and then we were like, just thinking of ideas. He was throwing stuff out, I was throwing stuff out, and we were like, right there, done. And we made it the one day, did it as a special, and people loved it. So it's been selling very well since it's been on the new menu, um, which we rolled out Wednesday, I would say. Okay. It's been all oh. full out roll out, so a lot of new items. So definitely come see it. We have our uh, Fruit of Mar here in the front that we also added to the menu, which is an, uh, Fruit of the Sea, it means. So it comes with bucatini pasta, spiced tomato broth. Of course, you got the clams, mussels, there's scallops, half a lobster tail, which is really nice. Ooh, I yeah, yeah, I really missed seeing that in yeah. there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, so it's a nice little mix there. And also we do from our antipasto bar, this is for our larger parties, which is really nice. Um, our meat and cheese boards. You got a honeycomb, some cornichons. A honeycomb. Um, I've never seen a honeycomb yeah. placed on really any kind nice, of menu yeah. item. Something a little different than just your jams and jellies. Yeah. So you get a little texture in there. It's still really nice honey flavor. Would though. you actually just spread that? I exactly. mean, take a yep. little knife and take spread it on? Take a little bit on. of it, yep. Right on the cracker, you can add a little cheese to it. It goes great with the blue cheese, especially, because oh, cool. it's nice and strong. We'll so they stand up to each other. I was going to say, uh, guess what my project's going to be here <laughs> when we go to break. Now, why veal? I think some people would be a little intimidated by veal. Well, one of our specialties has been veal for a long mm -hmm. time, so we kind of just play with it a little bit here and there, and it's um, it's a little lighter than beef, so okay. it's, it's very nice, yeah. Sometimes you get tired of eating the same thing <laughs> well, over and over, And right? can you tell who the cook is out of these? Carly's, oh, like, asking sorry. all these great, like, questions, and I'm like, yeah, uh-huh, uh -huh. nope, nope, sure, no oh, idea. Yeah, definitely. But I'm glad that you did address the intimidating thing, because there's yeah. no way that I would yeah. try something like this in the, in the kitchen, but you're saying don't be scared? No, definitely don't be scared. You, If you eat a filet or whatnot, it's the same, um, just a little bit lighter of a flavor, like I say, cleaner on the flavor. So it's really nice. And then what do people normally pair veal with? Obviously, is it yours with, is with the uh, mushroom uh, This ravioli? one we do with yeah. the mushroom ravioli and truffle. We have our veal chop on the menu okay. that we do with a, a veal demi gloss and a cauliflower mashed potatoes. Some mm -hmm. uh, confit onions is really nice. Um, yeah. Well, what I mean, else it can do go we with have? anything for beef. Oh, I'll yeah. say, well, let's see it. Uh, I know you yeah, got the definitely. wonderful plate oh, look, there. That so is cooked perfectly. Yeah, nice and crispy. We'll dab a little bit of that oil off there. Oh. And then we'll go straight onto the plate here. Wow. So we have our ravioli isk sheets here because it's a deconstructed ravioli. So we're going to start with pasta on top of there. This oh, is wow. a house made uh, truffle and mushroom ricotta that we do in house. Whole are milk. You, are you like placing this ravioli together right here? Oh yeah, this, just, it's this, a, is, cool. this is great. Yeah, deconstructed, so it's a little different. You know, not people. You know, not everybody really sees this Wait, too much. Wait, was that mushroom? Would you? What was this that? is a mushroom, wild mushroom mix that we do. We finish with a little herb butter when we're roasting it, and then we will go on top with the other piece of pasta, a little more ricotta here. This is like a ravioli lasagna type thing and then coming on the up the very with all top, these layers. We're going to finish it with the same mushrooms we have here chopped, but these are the whole ones. They get a little more texture, a little more uh, color on the top. So it looks a little mushrooms. bit different. I've really grown to love mushrooms and dishes and any kind of cream oh, yeah, of mushroom really soup. Nice. That's kind of what that yep, reminds me of. I mean. Exactly. And then uh, this is our reduction, of course. We're going to go right on the top here, dive in and try it. and. Give it a taste. Okay. I mean, it's feel, but. <laughs> I good. know. I'm excited to try it. <laughs> no, Thank you, Chef. We Thank appreciate you. it. And uh, coming up on.